We follow the Führer. Our blood is purer. We've never been so sure that AIDS is the gay cure. We worship an old crazy motherfucker called Hitler. Book mine, cap, and that was a shit. Yeah. You wanna be right, then you gotta be white. If you choose to be black, then Nazis attack your ass. But not like a queer. Another man's dick, I wouldn't go near. We're white, we're now, there's a lot of Muslim hysteria in the world at the moment, particularly in this country, it's rife. And um, I think it's, you, know, you hear this a lot, but it is genuinely true. You know, that um, it's only a small percentage of Muslims who are fucking it up for the rest of them. You know, there's two million Muslims in this country, and they're not all, you know, they're not all that like that. And I can prove that because I went to, um, I'm sure you all remember, uh, about 18 months ago, a guy in Denmark got in trouble when he drew a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad. I'm sure you all remember that. Big no-no. Mohammed doesn't like cartoons being drawn of him, apparently. And so, uh, around the world, there was a lot of you know, major incidents. But in this country, well, not in this country, it was in, it was in London. Um, there was, a, there was a, a protest in London. And I went along to see it, seeing what the big fuss was. And it was a really nice protest. It was really dignified. It was really peaceful. A lot of honour, a lot of respect. All wearing the Muslim gear, all wearing their, with their banners, Union Jacks and what have you. And I thought, this is really nice. But there was one bloke there who fucked it all up for everyone. He was a Daily Mail journalist's wet dream, this guy. Because he'd made a banner like everyone else had. I don't think he'd thought it through, though. Mm -hmm. See if you spot the mistake. You might have even seen this. He had a banner that said, Behead all those who say Islam is violent. <laughs> <laughs> Behead all those violent. Now, this is what pissed me off. There were thousands of people on this march. I can't believe one of them didn't go, Imran, for fuck's sake, mate, come over here, bro. It's, it's a tax counterproductive, okay? You wouldn't do, you know, you wouldn't do this at any other point. You wouldn't go to a protest with a banner that said, Stop paedophilia, shoot children. It kind of... <laughs> oh, it's a lie, mate. No one had a banner. Make poverty history. Let's nuke Africa. It kind of... <laughs> It kind of steps on the point there, really. But I mean, what annoys me about this situation, this Muslim hysteria, is it always gets based around the most irrelevant. People are almost pushed into the most irrelevant argument. In this case, it's the veil. That's what we all argue about. Isn't it? The veil. If women didn't have cloths over their faces, 9/11 wouldn't have happened. That's basically it. I mean, I don't get the veil personally. I don't really understand why you want to wear a veil. But if you want to, that's fair enough. You know, I think if God wanted you to wear it, cover your face, He'd have put an extra flap of skin over your nose. <laughs> Who are we to defy God? Quite frankly, right? <laughs> but you know, you do get people who are sucked into this. Muslim hysteria argument over the veil. You know, they sort of, they get sucked into this. And I just think, you know, at the end of the day, I, if you, and there might be people near you, might be good, decent, honest, kind-hearted souls, but you do get into this veil hysteria. And I can change your mind right now by giving you a simple scenario. You're walking down the street late at night, no one else is around. On this side of the street, you've got a little Muslim woman in the full veil. On this side of the street, you've got some 14-year-old council estate imp with his hood up and his baseball cap there, socks tucked into his fucking tracksuit bottoms like mini jumpers they are, and he's, he's dribbling and texting because he's forgotten how to fucking think for himself, so he's, he's texting himself there. And what side of the street are you going to walk on? I don't know about you, I'm with the little Muslim bitch over here. Right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck if she's dressed like a gothic Dalek, cos that's her. <laughs> I'm walking with her and I'll tell you why, cos at some point that little cunt's gonna pull a knife out and when he does, I'm gonna kill him shit right there. <laughs> so, you know, you don't need to worry about it. But, you know, going to the other side of the street now, moving on from there, there talk about the hoodies, cos hoodies are an interesting thing, because you know, in, in the old days, you know, they're not a new thing. In the old days, they'd have been called rascals or, you know, ragamuffins and things like that. Now they're just called, you know, hoodies and chaps. And I think instead of sort of giving these kids a badge of honour with an asbo, which is how they treat these fucking things, we should be trying to think of a solution to how you can stop these. But they're just unfortunate. They're not stupid. They're just unfortunate. And, you know, you've got to talk to these kids in a language they can understand. And uh, a lot of these kids listen to rap music which um, I don't know if anyone here is into, and there's a rap collective in the UK uh, I was listening to a little while ago, and they're called the So Solid Crew. Yeah, if you, if you love, I'm giggling at that already. That's, a, that's how shit the So Solid Crew is. It's a great thing, if you're into comedy, you don't have to write a joke, you just come on stage and go, So Solid Crew. <laughs> Good night. And then you walk over. Well, they released a song in this country, it was called 21 Seconds. It's uh, six minutes long. <laughs> And uh, there's a lot, if you haven't heard of the social crew, this is how crap the So Solid crew are. They're a rap group, there's 25 of them, none of them have been shot. <laughs> how shit do you have to be? Right? There's more to aim at, one of them must have, you know, anyway. But they released this song, 21 Seconds, there's a line at the end of that song, one of the rappers, he goes, Tool multiply by a 10 plus 1, which is 21. <laughs> now, 
There must have been one kid, surely, somewhere. Millions of people bought this record. There must have been one kid who didn't have a fucking clue what two times ten plus one was. Didn't, if he'd have got that in his hand, he'd have been fucked. He didn't have a clue. What's the, I don't have a clue. But now he can go, I know what this is. I listen to the So Solid crew, okay? A star off to Oxford, okay? Now, what we need to do is get rid of people like the So Solid crew. We need a more positive rap group, the So Science crew. Who gang of elite, hardcore, Mitsu rude boys who rap mathematical equations into garage music and the kids who remember them, they do better at school, it's staying in their head. I think it's a good idea, don't you think? It'd be great to come up and go, yo, yo, check this, yo, what's square root 49? Yo, what's square root 49? Yo, what's square root 49? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's the square root 49. Seven, that's the square root 49. Yo, tell me the play that arrest theory. Yo, what's that play that arrest theory? Yo, tell me the play that arrest theory. It's the sum of the square root of any two sides of a right angle triangle. Is it the square root of the domain, of the domain, of the domain inside you done? Up in rap music, would you? The deep bow at the end. <laughs> Snoop Dogg comes out and goes, I think not. But we don't know why we hate everyone, so you must die. Dead Jews in a great big pile, it gives me the horn and a shouty high. We march and step like a goose. I spot a darkie, get the noose. Find a tree and leave him hanging. I'll run so fat and his tune is banging. It's NWA giving it to you, Nazi star. We will kill you. Why? So mad, virgins too. But that's not why we're going to kill you. We're proud of our skin for not being brown. And if you are too, then why don't you get down? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Hitler, Hitler, rap, Hitler, Hitler, rap, Hitler, Hitler, rap. Go Hitler, go Hitler, go, go Hitler, go Hitler, go, go Hitler, go Hitler, go, 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 go. Like my moves, my Nazi moves, my Nazi moves is the Nazi robot. This is the Nazi worm. So, cunting well, bastarding what?